so welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making almond oil mm -hmm. i've tried um different ways of making almond oil i tried it the way you make the coconut oil it didn't work there's another one but most times some of these seed oils you need an oil press it's just the easiest way and i don't have that and i wanted to make almond oil so i came up with a recipe on how you can actually extract your your oil but the oil is not cold press so if you want your almond oil not cold pressed there you have it so let's go make us some almond oil so to make this easier this is the one i already have But um, the, the, this thing is not about the almond flour, it's actually about the almond oil. But I get to make my, um, I get to make my flour smoother because I found out that some of the uh, recipes I have to do, I need my almond uh, flour to be smoother. So what I do is, most times when I do this, I end up having my I end up having the milk in the fridge and it's all over the place so I think it's better I make the oil and uh, use so what I do is I blend the first batch with water I put it here I sieve it then the water that comes out I use it to blend another one so at the end of the day it gets the almond milk thicker I don't have too much water to to drain out it gets the almond milk uh, thicker so I'm gonna continue this process until I am done so I am done with my um, blending so this is the milk I got out of the bag like 3 LB or 3 pounds of um, almond flour and this is the plump or the shaft that came out of it i'm going to put this one in my oven and dehydrate it and then i'm going to boil this milk on very low the lowest my stove can go until it um all the water has uh, evaporated or dried up so this is what uh, it looks like we could say that this is um, <coughs> almond cream like you have your coconut cream this one is like almond uh, cream I just cooked it and reduced the water but I took out some I'm gonna freeze them I like using them in my um, um, cocoa so this one I'm gonna cook until the oil starts coming out or you can put it in your oven tray making it in the oven is easier because that way you can avoid it getting burnt you just put it in your oven tray and turn it very um, low So I'm putting this in my oven at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, this is um, what the almond looks like. This is what the almond looks like. The first time I tried this, I tried squeezing the oil out, but it was very difficult. So I came up with another way. So I will put it in my sieve. I will put it back as you can see the oil has um okay I'll see it again the oil has started coming out but if you leave it like this 
it's not going to all come out so i'm going to put it back into the oven i turn my oven to 170 degrees fahrenheit you turn it to the lowest it can go just it's just like warm and then the oil on its own would start coming out so i'm going to put it back into the oven i brought the almond oil from the oven and this is what i have here it still has a little bit of oil but that is okay so the oil i'm still going to filter it so there you have it your homemade almond oil is uh the process is a little bit long but if you want almond oil you can actually have it just gonna bottle it this is also gonna come in handy I'm gonna use it to make some um, maybe like a cake or something I think I left that for too long this was the first one I made and then this is the other one so I, I left this one for too long in the oven but I still have my almond oil so you can make your almond oil if you want or if you have um, an oil press fine but I don't so I make do the best I can